Hello, welcome back to my series of MPI tutorials. In the last video, I promised that um, I will set up an MPI tutorial for this video onwards, and this is the very first. Um, in order to set up MPI, we need a shared directory, and the best way is to get to uh, to use NFS um, uh, mount in Ubuntu, and NFS stands for Network File System. Um, you know, NFS mounts work to share directory between several virtual servers, and this has the advantage of saving this space. You know, um, and it's it's really great with MPI because with MPI, uh, once you've created a file, if you don't have a shared space, you will have to copy the file, um, which is usually a .c or the .c++ or Fortran, if you use that, to the slave machines. And that will take time, or you could write a bash script to copy them. But if you have a shared folder with NFS, you can actually program everything, including having your MPI CH2 directory set up within the shared, uh, the shared uh, uh, folder, which I will call Mirror. Um, over here on my mouse, you can see that I have had the four setup in my previous videos. Slave C didn't work, but I've managed to get it working now. So they are all talking to one another. In the in the last video, we tried out the SSH key gen and made sure that the master can talk to the slaves without having to put in the password. Okay, I've also cloned all the uh, the the virtual machines so that if anything went wrong halfway, you could always use that again. And this is also good because it's a clean slate for you to carve your programs on. Okay, so this is all set up. Now, um, in order to set up NFS so that a shared folder is shared, is shared within uh, between the master and the three slave nodes, okay, we will have to install um, a few things. Right, and the very first thing that we want to install is to get this file store NFS kernel server port map. Okay, the very first thing we have to install is this sudo apt-get install nfs kernel server and port map and we know what nfs is okay and but what about the port map Okay, in order to get NFS working, the very first thing we have to do is to install something on the master and later on the slave machines. Okay, and this is the very first thing. Install NFS kernel server. And we are going to install port map. Okay, NFS, we know what that is. Okay, but port map, now port map is a server that converts remote procedure call program numbers into DARPA protocol port numbers and it must be running in order to make RPC calls and NFS uses these services so we have to install that okay, in both the uh, the master and the slaves so let's get that done All right. So it's going to install. We'll do the server first before we come to the slave nodes. 
I'm just gonna let it finish installation. Right, so that's installed now. Okay, um, the next step is to create a shared folder. And if you want to create a shared, so shared folder, I'm going to MKDIR. Okay, I'm going to create the shared folder at the root directory rather than you know, doing a directory within the home folder. I'm going to do a mirror in the, in the root directory. Okay. I'll do a sudo. Okay, so we've got a folder creator. Now it's important to change the uh, the owner of the mirror folder to nobody and not belonging to any group because your slave will then be able to access it. Okay, so I will do that. Change owner, nobody, no group to that very first folder that we created. Okay, so it's done. And uh, the next step is to add this to the exports folder, which tells the notes that you know this is a, a folder that we can share. I'm going to do a sudo pico etc exports. Okay, and I'm um, adding the folder here, mirror, and usually you have an IP here which specifies. 168.100.101 and 1.0.1.0.3 but I want to put an asterisk here so that we can get uh, all the IP addresses to come to use this folder okay and there are options available um, uh, and this accomplishes several tasks the first one is RW okay and the second one, we want to put sync. All right, so S, Y, and C. Okay, now RW option allows the client server to both read and write within the shared directory. Okay, and that's, that's important. And the sync confirms request to the shared directory only once the changes have been committed. So once we have this two, I'm going to save it, Ctrl X, press Y, and save it. Okay, um, the third step is to export this. My MSA. Right, we will need a sudo uh, uh, for that. Okay, so now that this is done, we're going to come to the slave machines. Okay, um, first one, second one, third one. Okay, in the slave machine, we will also install the same package install nfs but this time it's common and also port map okay I'm going to do the same thing for slate b okay And also slave C. Okay, we we'll just clear this so that you can see it easier rather than having to tilt your head down to the bottom. Okay, so the screens are all not now clear, and um, we want to create the mirror folder, you know, to replicate the master's mirror folder, and to mount them later. So um, this is the way to, to create them. Okay, and that will be in the root. Okay, we need to make a. Okay, so that's done. It's empty. Okay, we're going to do it on the 
second. Right, so now that the mirror folders has been created in all three, okay, um, we, want to, we want to have an extra step here um, that actually starts a server. So without starting the NF server, we cannot mount this because uh, it will try to access the NFS here from the IP addresses which we will fill in in the three nodes. Okay, so to start the server, we use this command the nfs kernel press tab which give you the full command and start the server okay so now that the server has been started let's try to mount this folder mount the server ip address is 192.168.100.100 as set up in the previous video so check it out and we're going to mount in that server the mirror folder that we created early in the server with the folder that we created here right so slave A is mounted and let's try to mount slave B and C. Okay. The mirror of the server with the mirror on this client, this uh, this node. Okay, proceeding to slave C okay. so all three servers are, are now mounted okay now, um, the reason that we can mount different IP addresses was because we did uh, an export okay, that sends it to NFS. And over here, you know, we have the asterisk, and that shows that all IP addresses is able to do these two. Okay, if you were to put the IP address of only one of the slave, for example, 192.168.100.101, then only slave A can access um, and can mount the the folder. Okay, so make sure you have an asterisk so all your slaves can mount can be mounted. Right, so they have all been mounted, but to check to see if they are really being mounted, we use this command. Okay, as you can see at the last line, we see the service IP address with a colon and then the server's mirror folder. Okay, so we're gonna do another one. Okay. Okay, so they have all mounted. Right, so at the moment there's nothing in the folder. Okay, um, let's release the mouse. Um, if we go into the mirror folder, you can see there's nothing there. Okay, and I'm going to go into the service mirror folder. Okay, and there's nothing there. And let's try to create a file. Touch, for example, test. Okay, 
and there's a file created in the mirror folder. Just to check, we should do a, a list directory. And as you can see, it's properly mounted, so the test file should also show within the slaves folder. Okay, if you check the others, okay, they should all be mounted properly. Okay, so this is the basics for uh, sharing folders. Okay, and uh, uh, between the master and the slave machines okay um, and this will allow us to also build MPI programs within this folder so that all the files are shared between the master and the node okay so compiling one uh, on one will also put the file compiled on the slave nodes so that we can run in all the distributed uh, 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 virtual machines right so this is the end of this tutorial, and I hope you like. Uh, it's easy for you. Um, if there's any um, questions, please post it to the comments, and I'll try to answer it. If you like the video, press like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.